Dennis Ugas, I will give him the podium to have his moment. <laughs> Errol, the true Spence Jr., ladies and gentlemen, the unified welterweight champion in the world. <laughs> How's it going? I'd like to thank everybody for coming out, man. It was, I think it was a big event. You know, Dallas really came out and supported me and showed a lot of love. And, uh, you know, I showed my gratitude, like I said, on, on social media, showing my gratitude by not just telling them, but showing my appreciation by showing them in the ring. And I think that's what I did. Everybody um, enjoyed the show. They got their money's worth. I put on a great show and a great performance. And um, I appreciate everybody for watching it on Showtime pay-per-view and spending your hard-earned money and coming to the fight. Creates you spending your time and your hard-earned money coming to the fight, too. Thank you. Okay, uh, any other questions? Okay, uh, we'll start over here. Cameron Buford, Los Angeles News Observer, by way of Voice of the Fans. Uh, congratulations, Spence, for, for doing your work, getting in there and putting them away. Um, at what point, it, did, in the third round, that was an exciting third round, did he frustrate you in that third round? In the sixth round, did he piss you off? Um, it was just, <clears throat> in the third round, I think it was, like even the start of the fight, I was I was getting a little bit, you know, I was kind of off a little bit, you know, I guess the layoff, but I was kind of off a little bit and uh, trying to find my rhythm and my range. So, you know, I was throwing like looping shots. My shots were coming a little bit hard and I wasn't setting up my punches or just letting them go. Like I did in the later rounds, it started being more effective and I started letting them go. But at the first start, I started just throwing hard and trying to, and trying to, um, you know, put a lot of emphasis in my shots. Yeah, this is Skip Brown from Dante's Boxing Nation by way of Aki TV. First of all, congratulations, champ. Thank you. Terrence Crawford tweeted, quote, Congratulations, great fight. Now the real fight happens. No more talk. No more side of the street. Let's go. What's your response to uh, Terrence Crawford's comment? I mean, I already respond. I mean, I already said what I said when I was in the ring. I got, and I've been saying it this whole week, doing presses and everything. I said, uh, it's, it's, it's man strap season. I got one more belt to get. And, uh, you know, after I get through Ugas, I'm coming in Terrence Crawford. So, I already know what time it is. Errol, hey, Cesar said over here, America TV, Decision Dividida Puerto Rico. Hey. We saw this is the second time that we see the same thing happen with the mouse pit uh, situation, right? Uh, do you have to work on correcting the situation with the mouse pit? The same thing happened in the Garcia fight. You uh, you lost the mouse pit and you went looking for it too. It's, it's <laughs> keep happening. Yeah. Hey, now nah, you you for it. You right. Um, <laughs> now nah, I just got I gotta get a new mouth piece. My mouth piece been messed up. I gotta get a new mouth piece. It's like it's not molded to my mouth at all, so it was flopping everywhere. And then, so I got to bite down real hard for it to stay in my mouth, so that's my fault. That's a, a rookie mistake for me. And that was a rookie mistake for me too, like looking off and looking for my mouthpiece and then, you know, I get punched like three times. So, you know, that was my fault too, because you put the tickets up at all times. So, you know, hey man. Chance, <laughs> sorry. If that happened over here, over here, over here. Whoa. Do you think it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be the same outcome? Uh, I mean, I don't know what the future holds, but like I said, I'm going to get a new map piece. <laughs> <laughs> Over here with kids, please. Chad, uh, hi, Errol. You uh, really started right here in front of you. You really started applying pressure right after that situation. And uh, can you talk about the dog, Michael Urban? I, I saw him after the fight. He was very fired up. He said, that's what we do. We break mother. Can you talk about your style and, and that pressure that you put on to make a fighter uh, break inside of the ring? Um, I think when the fight first started, I was being kind of impatient. Um, I don't think I had my rhythm and my range. So, you know, I was throwing like looping shots, you know, trying to throw hard shots and trying to catch them. But in the later rounds when I started, you know, setting my shots up and placing my shots and picking my shots, and uh, not throwing hard, but just, you know, letting them go. Uh, I think I was catching them a lot and, you know, breaking them down. And um, and I felt them breaking down because, you know, he wasn't throwing like he, he, he usually does. So I was like, okay, I got him now. And then, you know, I just kept punching. You know, I thought the ref was going to stop it a lot earlier. 
Well, you know, you just let it keep going. Uh, KeithIacoBoxingScene.com. Congratulations, Errol. Thank you. Um, now that you've both made it crystal clear that you want this fight next, how difficult do you expect the negotiations to be, and what do you think would be fair for both of you? Um, I'm not going to talk about what's going to be fair for both of us. Uh, you know, that's for the guys in suits to go over all the, the <laughs> analytics and, <laughs> and stuff like that, and you know, see what you know we both bring to the table, and then you know, sort it out like that. So, you know, he got his people that you know take care of his business. I got my people. You know, they'll meet up, and you know, yeah, it'll make sense. Earl, uh, straight down. Danny Alvarez here. First and foremost, congratulations on the victory. Uh, there's been a lot of questions regarding the eye, and obviously now you got in there, you showed, people were saying it hasn't been man down in a while, you showed. Um, how do you feel now stepping out of the ring, getting a, a TKO here in front of your home crowd, and obviously first fight back since the detach right now? I, I feel good. I mean, it was a lot of questions that y'all had, not myself. I've been in, I've been in the gym. I've been sparring, so I didn't have any questions. Y'all had a lot of questions in the doubt, and you know, saying he was was this or he not same fight or it's only natural. I ask for it's only natural that when you have an eye surgery, you're gonna be tentative in the in the in the ring and all the other bull crap. And then, that, like as you seen, like it was no tentativeness or anything like that. Like, you know, I was fighting. You know, I was fighting to get a knockout. So, no, I felt good. Hey, Errol, James Bell here at the Boxing Source. Now, in key fights, it's all about adjustments and like you know, change the momentum of the fight. In the third and the fourth round, you pretty much started to land that left uppercut. And that was pretty much where he just didn't just didn't have an answer for it. So, um, like, kind of going through those adjustments as far as like you know keeping consistent with the jab, but also incorporating the left uppercut, where you know he just didn't have an answer for that. Um, like it's just about making adjustments, like you said. Um, I think that's you know that's just my style. Like I make adjustments on the fly, and when something's not going right, you know that's what I do, and I try to look for different things. So. Like I was throwing the left, it wasn't working, so I was jabbing, setting it up, and then throwing the right hook, and it was working. Then I was throwing my short shots underneath, and then coming over the top, and that was working. So um, you know, I was just trying different things, and you know, and the things that was working, I started using more and more and more as the fight started going, and I started settling it in. Earl, uh, congrats, champ. Stephen Cureño, uh, KO Art of Sports. Your body attack was, was vicious tonight, man. And do you feel that helped open up the shots to the eye? And, and with the eye closing, did you see it closing, obviously, and, and maybe kind of start going for it more, thinking maybe the stoppage would come from that? Um, I did see it closing, but, you know, I was just targeting, you know, what was open and just trying to punch through his, punch through his guard. But I know a lot of times he just sit and brace himself and, you know, try to take the shots. So. I was just pushing to the door. Okay.